stories, myths and sagas, legendary tales about great deeds, fast deeds and overpowered sweets. For as it is said, medicine may keep a man alive for a lifetime, but legends, legends will make him immortal. And today, I will be telling the legendary tale of how one man managed to become just that, immortal through legend. And not just once, not twice, but three times over. This is the triple legend of Jarl Hastine. Hello. And this is a video sponsored by Paradox and their brand new Crusader Kings 3 DLC, Legends of the Dead, that introduces not just the focus of this video, legends, but also terrifying outbreaks like the Black Death and even worse, the Dancing Plague. So make sure to check it out by clicking my link in the description or pinned comment. Now, all great legends need to start somewhere, and this one starts here. In Montaigu, this is the first place I check when I get access to a new expansion. Because goddammit Paradox, don't you dare nerf Hastine. But luckily for me, Jarl Hastine is still the same happy, goofy and glorious viking he's always been. But while Hastine stayed the same, I did notice a massive difference when I booted up the game. That's right, we're now playing on an actual table. Does it add much to the gameplay? Uh, not really. Is it super freaking cool? 100%. Now my initial goal was just to create one legend about Hastine. And to do that, we're going to need a legend seed. Basically, it's a myth, idea or fabrication that the court chronicler can spin into a full-blown legend. We started the game with gothic kings, a seed that would proclaim us as the true heirs of the goths that sacked Rome. So off to Rome we went. We easily sieged down their holdings, fought off the pope, and to add insult to injury and to 100% legitimize hasty as the new Roman ruler, we stole the pope's hat. And just that, legitimacy is one of the new things added in Legends of the Dead. It's basically a measurement of how worthy others see you as the ruler of your realm. Low legitimacy means big problems. While the higher your legitimacy climbs, the better your bonuses get. So after having conquered Rome, we also set about conquering some nearby independent counts. And with each conquest, our legitimacy grew. We then spent some years getting settled into our new home. Hastin adopted a cat, as well as a Greek baby, promising to raise both of them as fearsome Viking warriors. He then went on a vacation to Egypt, had a glorious feast, and got some very, very tragic news. Shame you're gonna die though. I would have liked to see what you could have pulled off, man. But so far it looks like someone pulled off your arm. <laughs> And after all of that, we decided that now was the time and started the process of hiring a court chronicler as both of those can help us in spreading our legend. This proved to be uh, somewhat difficult as the only qualified court chronicler was a Frenchman I had brought along with me from Montaigu. I tried to do the two for one special by marrying him to a Catholic woman that had the poet trait. But for some reason, they were reluctant to get married and it might have something to do with the fact that I wanted to wed them as I am technically the new pope. Safe to say, they quickly left court. But in the end, we got Alfred as our court chronicler, and his wife Ulva as the poet. And it didn't take long for Alfred to come to Hasty with great news. He had figured out a legendary seed. Odin smiles upon us today, my Jarl, just as it did on the day you were born. Indeed, you were born under auspicious stars. Some people may find this a little bit far-fetched and it would take some effort to prove it to be true, but it's strong enough groundwork. I mean, there's something here. And there it was, our first legend, a tale of creation, the true holy origin story of Jarl Hastin himself. This legend would help us control our holdings from rebellions. Now every legend has three levels of completion, but for the real big rewards, you need to spread it to 100 or 300 baronies. And this was the first challenge. Because if we spread our auspicious birth legend to 100 different baronies, we would get access to the evangelized to the realm decision, letting us instantly convert most of our realm to our faith. And being the new Pope of Rome and all, this was a must. Now to spread our legend, we can either do it within our own borders, using our court chronicler, court poet and court musician, but we can also convince other lords to adopt your legend and spread it on your behalf. So with the legend existing in only one barony and 99 more to go, we got to work. And let me tell you, the road to becoming a legend 
was a windy one. We raised the raiders and go earn enough gold so that we can spread our legend. And we're gonna hit up my favorite spots, Mallorca, and then go straight for Cordoba. That's what I love to see. Glorious gold for me. I'm just gonna walk out of here like a shoplifter at Walmart and realize that I have another son. How many kids? Listen, buddy, I'm not raiding to create a realm. I'm raiding to pay child support. But at least I managed to gaslight Polycarpus Caesarius son to become a Norseman. We now have enough gold to form the kingdom of Romagna, making us a mighty glorious king. What? What? Prince Ragnar, my son! He was killed by King Charles! You pig-headed bastard, you leper! Well, I guess I'm talking to my granddaughter. What's up, Ingridder? Sorry about your dad, my son. Erotic dancing, holy moly, you are right, Hastings. That is, god damn! She's hitting that gritty like no one else. Holy moly. Yeah, buddy, she's my lover now. And her name is Ambrosia. Yeah, that is, that is, oh god, Hastings, she's 16. Wow, Hastings, ew! All right, I totally forgot. My son died, and I have to give him a proper funeral. God damn. He really is dead. He's, do he's doing the Nosferatu special. Now someone's trying to kill my wife. Who the hell? Hey, wife. Okay, listen. Someone's trying to kill you. What happened to my brother? He's in Valhalla. That's very comforting to hear for a child. <laughs> but who is this major snoring? Buddy, we're gonna have a funeral for your hairline next. <laughs> Are you just gonna toss him into this hole? But this mother is completely overreacting. Throwing herself at the ground. Hands coating her head and eyes. God damn. What if I cry louder? <laughs> hey, I am the best parent. Please, let's just burn this guy so he can go to Odin. He's Bjorn! He's been murdered! No, not Bjorn Hastings on. I just buried one boy. I don't want to bury another. Who the heck is killing all my kids? I'm suddenly stirred awake by the shrill screeching of metal on stone. I shoot awake and see a shadow figure standing at the edge of my bed. Her toothy grin, the only thing that I can see illuminated. She's holding a dagger. Then suddenly, I wake up once more. She marked me with a visit. I fear that I will be collected by hell very soon. Now, nah, buddy, I'm going for that immortality. Let's go! But as I'm strolling out in the woods, it is all dark around me. Just ahead, a solitary light. I walk across this void towards that single spot of light. And I see a lonely figure dressed in all white who looks like an older version of me. He smiles at me with a kind of warmth only a father can give. Do you know? Why I made mortals die, Hasty. It is what separates you from me. You know how precious life is. Your eternity in Valhalla is coming, but for now, there are people waiting for you. Odin! I gotta die so I need to do stuff now. A man with a trumpet blares in my ear. And he was a gal, and she was beautiful. And he was a hero, and he was beautiful. That is a horrific song. Wait, it changes the chapters? When Hasten's spouse came to him one morning with alarming rumors, Hasten made Hasten promise to other. Holy moly! It changes the story! Do I dare say I was raised by a boar? Sure. She mocks me. No. No, let me read. What did you change? Hasten of Ragnarok became lost as a child and adopted raised by a boar. Many speculate that this is cause for his alleged ex. ex what? Hasten has had it up to here. He needs this legend to spread, but no one wants to spread it for him. We're gonna go on a conquering spree and get as much land as humanly possible. We're setting everyone to just extol the legend. This stuff needs to be spread, and it needs to be spread now. That means we can seize Tuscany, which is a whole lot of counties. The glory of the hasty birth, it shall be told. We will gaslight our way through history. We will get the word out there. My dad was a boar. One heck of a statement, to be honest. And give me Tuscany. With more land, it should be easier for me to spread this. No! No, they're spreading the measles! In the land of my son! In Fokia! Is that dangerous? Yep! Well, luckily it won't spread to me, right? Well, my son just aching died. 90! 90, let's go! Use 10 more! Spread faster, my legends! Prince Orgrimmer, one of my kids! I'm King Hasty of Romagna! I'm the hero! The kids are spreading it! Even kids are spreading it! 92, let's go! 96! 97! 98! 99! It's 100! We can increase the quality! Let us evangelize the realm! And after countless of years, and a 93-year-old Hasty that has been around the world, I have managed to push this myth all over Italy. And it is finally time to finish my chronicle. King Hasten of Romagna became lost as a child and was adopted and raised by a boar. Many speculate that this is why he's absolutely nuts. When Hasten's spouse came to him one morning with alarming rumors, Hasten made haste and promised to honor their everlasting love. 
En denk of Mary there in the bedchamber. King hasten over Magna was visited by Ymir who spoke to him directly about the nature of creation and the beauty of finite life. We will complete my auspicious birth. Holy moly, we have done it by Odin. This is a blessed book. I've done it. I, I mean, I can't believe this. Also, why is Sweden here? Either way. It is time to evangelize the realm. A legendary tale of devotion has gripped the hearts of everyone. Let's see how overpowered this is. Holy moly! That's so strong! But alas, at 94 years of age, I have died. But I've died a legend. And so, as the living legend Hastin died, it would seem that our story here is over. But didn't I promise you a triple legend? But he's dead, so how's that going to be possible? I'll tell you how. Because legends... Never die! As long as the winds of legend blows in the pages of history, there's still renown to be had. So the grandson of Hastin took it upon himself to dedicate his life to his ancestor and keep spreading legends! We started by completing the story of the Gothic Kings, the very first scene we had at the start of the game, taking our place as the true heirs of the Gothic Ravagers of Rome, all while fully focusing on Hastin himself. And because of the success of this legend, King Hurther got the chance to construct a legendary palace, a wonderful special building where our dynasty could relax and enjoy life, while also granting some pretty great bonuses. While waiting for the palace to be constructed, we took the time to create one last legend, this one focusing entirely on praising the great deeds of the glorious Hastin while he was alive. With this completed, the people of our new also true Roman kingdom firmly held the tales and legends of the ancestry, birth and life of Hastin, completing the circle in telling what was before, how he came here and what he did. Or as you yourself would hear it, if you stumbled into a cozy tavern on a dark evening. Ready, sir! Our king is the best king there is Because our king has the riz He was born of the chosen stars Fought in a thousand wars Champion like the gods that came before And his father was a born Oh, Austin, our legend and our king It is for you that we dance and we sing the chosen of our people, the strongest of all men, passed in a legend to the end. The chosen of our people, the strongest of all men, passed in a legend to the end. And that, my friends, will have to be the end of this great and glorious first peek at the legend system in the brand new Crusader Kings 3 DLC, Legends of the Dead sponsored by Paradox. Make sure to check it out by clicking my link in the description or pinned comment, as it really helps to support the channel. There's way more glorious adventures to come, full of both legends and plagues, so I hope to see you guys then. Until then, stay legendary! Yeah.